Hi, I'm Gabby San Laquito. And I'm Maddie Brightman. This is a Penn State Today Quick Cast. The new judge overseeing the criminal case against three former Penn State administrators is now deciding whether the remaining charges should be thrown out or the case should move toward trial. All three were in court on Thursday, Graham Spanier, Tim Curley, and Gary Schultz. The judge heard arguments but hasn't said when he will rule. They're accused of not responding properly to a 2001 complaint about Jerry Sandusky. The Heritage Committee at Penn State Altoona is getting an award from the Blair County Historical Society for preserving campus history. The committee has preserved hundreds of letters written by Altoona students while they served in World War II, and the group is working to collect and catalog documents, newspaper clippings, and artifacts about campus history. They'll get the President's Award on November 4th. If you ever wanted to know what it's like to be on the field at Beaver Stadium, you'll be interested in this next story. A new virtual reality channel called Lion Vision will bring an extra element to the fan experience. Eon Sports is working with Penn State Athletics to roll out the new subscription channel at the end of October. They demoed the idea a few days ago at the Applied Research Lab. The subscription will cost $29.95 per year. That comes with a pair of virtual reality goggles for those who sign up by October 24th. The channel allows fans to experience moments like the drum major's front flip and the football team's run onto the field. Eventually, they want to add content from 31 teams. Going to the doctor isn't the only way to stay healthy as we head into winter. Penn State's kinesiology department is doing its best to keep everyone healthy as the winter changes. It held the fifth annual Exercises Medicine Week with activities across the University Park campus. That included a yoga session on the old main lawn on Thursday, and exercise stations open all week at places like the Willard Building, Palmer Museum, West Halls, and the Huck Institute of Life Sciences. I chose to come here because yoga is great for your body, it's great for your mind, it's great for your overall well-being. And I've noticed a great improvement in my quality of life. That's all for this Penn State Today Quick Cast. For more, go to our website, commedia.psu.edu, to see student-produced news from the College of Communications. Have a great day.